People sometimes ask us why a conservation organisation would have a theologian amongst its team. And I guess that there are two main reasons for that. One is that we are a Christian conservation organisation. So the reason why we care for nature is because we believe it's God's. The second reason is that part of our mission is to really engage the global Christian community and to be able therefore to articulate in biblical terms why the world matters to God and why how we treat the world matters to God is a fundamental part of what we're about. Hi, I'm Dave Bookless and I work as Arosha's Director of Theology. That's a role that comes with several parts to it. Part of it is resourcing the global Arosha family with Bible-based resources. Part of it is being the liaison between Arosha and the worldwide Christian community helping other Christians, churches around the world, catch a vision for caring for creation. And then I'm also released in order to study part-time for a PhD. And that is to help give Arosha some academic credibility. The PhD is looking at conservation and what the Bible has to say about why species other than human matter to God and how they should matter to us. Being a Christian organization does impact the way that we do our conservation science. It's not that we necessarily do it better. However, what our Christian faith means is that we see the whole picture. So it's an integrated approach where caring for people, caring for wildlife, caring for the whole picture is, is all connected together because it all comes under God. Hopefully we also care for creation with integrity. How we live, the food that we eat, the way that we travel is all connected to how we care for nature. And for us as Christians, that's all connected to our faith. So conservation science is part of our worship and it's part of our mission. Uh, it's not just a task that we do. Arosha's conservation projects are in many kinds of habitat around the world, marine and forest, urban uh, and wetland, but always there are people as well as, as wild nature. And those people, many of them belong to faith communities, something like 80% of the world's population identify as belonging to a faith community. So the fact that Russia is a Christian organisation actually gives us a great advantage in relating to people who may be Christian or Muslim or Hindu, because they understand that we come from values and that caring for creation is about the values that stem from our faith. So it, it actually gives us a great advantage being a faith-based organisation working in conservation. I've been a Christian pretty much all my life and I've, I've also always had a love for wild places and for wildlife. But it was many years until I really made the connection between that love for wildlife and my Christian faith. For me, one of the things that's really helped has been part of Arosha and seeing Arosha's work around the world. And another thing is a hobby that I've developed of bird ringing or bird banding. Simply seeing birds and identifying them wasn't enough. I wanted to know more about where they travel, how they live, how they migrate. And bird ringing studies involve catching birds, often in very fine mist nets, putting a, a small metal tag on them, measuring them, releasing them, and then hopefully somebody else catches them and you can track their progress around the world. So for me has brought together the sense of wonder that God has made tiny creatures that are able to navigate across continents and across oceans uh, and it's helped link my faith with my work now for Arosha. Sometimes people ask me why a, a theologian and an ordained minister might be involved in catching and releasing birds and I guess I, I, I might take them to what Jesus said. Jesus instructed people to look at the birds of the air, to look at the flowers of the field and the word that he used for look at doesn't just mean take a glance at but it actually means earnestly study. By looking in detail at parts of God's creation, such as birds, we actually learn more about God, about God's purposes, and about who we are in this amazing world that God has made. I would encourage everyone to get outdoors and to enjoy God's creation. Whether you live in a big city, as I do, whether you live in the countryside, God's creation is everywhere. And I find it deepens my relationship with God, it deepens my understanding of my place in the world, and it also just gives me joy and gives me a motivation to care for God's creation. When I go outside, when I watch the clouds going across the sky or hear the birds singing or see a flower 
bursting through the soil after the winter. These are things that, that lift our hearts and actually that connect us to God and to the world that God has made.